Now in this lesson we're talking about color temperature, how that applies to our painting. And basically we're talking about suggesting sunlight and shadow. Although color temperature does apply to a cloudy day as well, because there is a certain light that we have on a cloudy day. It's more indirect and it's cooler, and that affects the colors we see. On a sunny day, it also affects it in terms of warm and cool color. Shadows being cooler because of the lack of warm sunlight, and then the sunlit areas being warmer. And we first consider the local color. For instance, this tree here is a green tree, but the temperature affects that green color. In the sunlight, it turns to a yellow green. In the shadow, it turns to a blue green. Same thing with the distant mountains back in here. The local color, you could say, is a violet, and in the sunlit area, it turns to a warm violet. And in the shadow, it turns to a cool violet. The hill is a violet because of the distance. It's further away. You know, it's affected by atmospheric perspective. The dust and moisture in the air makes it look cooler. But then the sunlight makes it a warm, cool color. In other words, a warm violet and then a cooler violet in the shadow. So we have to consider temperature when we're painting. I could you know, match these colors. I think I'm matching what I see in the photograph. But if I, I if I try and match the colors I see, I'm not emphasizing the color temperature, and that's what gives us the sunlight. So I want to push it a bit more than what I see, depending on how much sunlight I want to show. So I might push these blue greens or more of a, a bluish green more towards the blue maybe some blue violets even in there and push the green in the sunlit area a lot more towards the yellow I get some uh, a yellow orange scrubbed into the yellow green a lot of warm light values of color to suggest that sunlight same thing in the shadows from the trees again a lot more blue blue violet blue green and push it photograph doesn't necessarily pick up the temperature that well so we have to really emphasize it to give the overall painting that suggestion of sunlight and shadow. We have a painting here by James Reynolds, and here he really pushed it. Shadows are a lot cooler, maybe, than what they were. A lot more blue, blue-violet. The blue is very saturated, very strong. And the sunlit areas, the mountains, are really reddish-orange. And he really pushed it pretty hard. Same thing, this foreground, middle ground is all in shadow. So everything has a little bit of muted violet, muted blue-violet, blue-greens, and it all hangs together. The shadow all stays together because it's dark for one thing, but everything has a little bit of that muted violet in it. So it's that strong contrast of warm reddish-orange against the strong um, dark blue-violet and a little more muted violet uh, down below. So pushing that contrast of warm and cool really emphasizes the uh, the difference here. And this is uh, Edgar Payne. This is a bit more subtle. He doesn't push it as much, but there's still that temperature change. The mountains, you know, I see them as a, a, a muted violet. You could just say gray. You know, use a blue and an orange to get the local color of a gray, but then you have to apply temperature to either the violet mountains or the gray mountains, whichever way you want to go. And if it's a violet, I'm adding yellow, yellow ochre, orange to the violet, which warms it up. Then I'm adding more blues and blue-violet to the shadow side to make it a stronger, cooler gray or cooler violet. So everything is in terms of warm and cool, and it's that temperature, or it's that contrast between the two that makes the suggestion of sunlight. Same thing in the trees down here. The sunlit green turns to a yellow green orange green, there's some orange in here, a lot of variety of warm colors contrasting the cooler blue greens, some blue, a little bit of blue violet, anything to push that suggestion of temperature. I have one here of mine and this is a late afternoon and the barn here is red, red barn, but when we apply color temperature to it the red turns to a reddish orange in the sunlight and more of a red violet in the shadow. So Again, that contrast, warm and cool. Same thing with the grass. Yellow, yellow ochre, yellow orange into the yellow greens, and then the blue greens. Now I have other local colors in there. There's different colors of grass, but everything's affected by that kind of bluish violet in this area and kind of a blue green. Not as cool 
as it could have been. I could have pushed it really blue, but the local color has a lot of ochre in it, so I have to emphasize that. But still, the most important part is the cool temperature of the color. Same thing in the trees up here, more of a yellow-orange trees than yellow-green. So the, the shadow is more of a violet with some orange in it, because I have to show the local color. But the temperature kind of predominates. That violet keeps it cooler, keeps it in the shadow. This is another Edgar Payne, and here the shadows look real warm, because there's so much red or red-orange in them. But compared to the sunlight, which has a lot more yellow in it, it's a lot warmer than the shadow. Plus he adds a lot of some blue, blue violets in here into the, the reddish orange and some red violet that keeps it on the shadow side, but he doesn't push it as much. The temperature back here, he really pushes that shoves those mountains and cliffs way back to the distance. So he really emphasizes the distance by pushing the temperature. Same thing in the foreground. It's not a real strong violet or blue violet because there's orange in it because the local color of the dirt here is orange. But there's enough violet, or, or the overall color and temperature of that shadow is cool compared to the overall warm of the, uh, the dirt. Local color is orange and keeps the orange warm in the sunlight and cools it off in the shadow. And any time you have orange and violet, orange and blue, it's going to get a little more muted. So you can really push it to really emphasize the, the temperature change, or you can be more subtle with it, but still have that contrast of warm against cool.